This is likely the last glimpse of the royal couple together before they walk down the aisle at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Driving into the thousand-year-old castle for a rehearsal, outside a preview of the royal celebration, complete with a practice run for the couple's horse-drawn carriage. It's not just trying to get it right. It's trying to get it right in front of the world's cameras. This is live. This is for real, and you know, you're stepping into a drama that is part of the history of the world. So, the pressure's on. The couple, poised under pressure, despite Meghan Markle's family drama that threatens to overshadow the festivities. Dramatic twist in the royal wedding saga. He's in, he's out, then rumours that he might be in again. Her father reportedly cannot travel for the next week or two. After days of conflicting reports, Kensington Palace finally confirming today that Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, is no longer attending the wedding, reportedly recovering from heart surgery and, perhaps embarrassment, after allegedly staging these now infamous paparazzi photos. Meghan, in a rare move for a soon-to-be royal, authoring her own statement, writing in part, I've always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. Every family has circumstances that are unknown to the world and I just feel bad for her that she won't have her dad. Now, the only member of Meghan's family scheduled to attend the wedding is her mother, Doria Ragland, today meeting Prince Harry's immediate family for the first time. She could be the one to walk Meghan down the aisle. She must be heartbroken, really, but um, I think her mother will do a fantastic job, and it's something different for the royals. Is there a sense, maybe, that the palace hasn't really done enough to protect Meghan and her extended family, to try to prepare all these people for this huge amount of tabloid speculation. The mother lives in LA, the father lives in Mexico. I'm not sure where the half-brothers and sisters are, but they're clearly making noise. It's, it's obvious that the Markles did need more support, because how, how would they know? I sat down for tea with Imogen Lloyd Webber, an authority on royal life, and Julie Montague, an American who married into British aristocracy. How ready do you think Meghan is for this level of paparazzi attention? And was she ready going into this? She's had paparazzi, obviously, around her because of suits. But I think this level that's happening this week, it was distressing. As a bride, it's already stressful getting married. And the last thing you want to happen is to have your family make things bubble up. I think the royal family would, would hate to watch all this happening now. They, they will learn some lessons from this. One does wonder why the palace didn't uh, make her family perhaps sign NDAs, for instance, or make sure they were okay financially and, and so forth. But look, no one, no one can prepare you for royal life. The spectacle of this past week is just a taste of the scrutiny that the 36-year-old will experience once she joins the royal family on Saturday. It's a goldfish bowl at the end of the day. The Queen Mother described monarchy as an intolerable privilege, and it is that. Becoming part of the British royal family was a jarring transformation for Princess Diana too. The shy 19-year-old nursery school teacher became the most photographed woman in the world. She spoke about it during her famous BBC News Panorama interview. I couldn't understand the level of interest. The media were everywhere. And here was a fairy story that, that everybody wanted to work. And so it was isolating but it was also um, a situation where you couldn't indulge in feeling sorry for yourself. You had to either sink or swim, and you had to learn that very fast. There are very few people who ever become members of the royal family, so there's no defined path, but it's very, very hard to maneuver in there. I mean, it's a minefield. India Hicks was one of Princess Diana's bridesmaids. You're a princess, and you're riding in carriages, and the world's watching, and you're a fashion sensation as well. And then those years pass, and suddenly you're in this world where there is very little privacy, and, and, and at times they probably feel quite caged. While Meghan will likely live in Kensington Palace and likely gain the royal title Duchess over the weekend, her life won't necessarily be charmed. Well, there's a world expectation upon your shoulders, and, you know, I think most of us can't comprehend what that's like. I don't know how anybody prepares for that. Alistair Bruce is officer of arms to the Queen and was consultant on films like The King's Speech. I would do anything in my power to keep my brother on the throne. There is the difficulty that if you decide you're going to go out, 
Well, a number of people need to be told your personal protection officer. Uh, your car needs to be available at the front door. It's probably been taken away by somebody to keep the front door looking tidy in case somebody comes to visit. Prince Harry has been his fiancée's constant advocate, warning her of the pressures that come with this life. Have some pretty, you know, frank conversations with her to say, look, you know, what you're letting yourself in for is, mm. it is, it's, it's a big, it's a big deal, and it's, um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't, it's not, it's not easy for anybody. Um, but I know that, you know, at the end of the day, she, you know, she chooses me, and I choose her, um, and therefore, you know, whatever, whatever we have to tackle together or individually will always be us together as a team. So, I think. I think she's capable it's so of... so nicely said, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. But she's, capable of, she's capable of anything. She may be capable of adapting, but her sister-in-law, Catherine Middleton, was seemingly crafted for it. Kate went out with William for seven years. She met members of the family over a long period. She understood what royal life was. I'm sure there's also a lot that Meghan will be able to learn from Kate, clearly. You know, Kate has done an awful lot of these functions, you know, where you have to sit on a, a, a nearly a throne, or you have to be on a royal tour, or you're getting in and out of a car, or you're getting on and off an aeroplane, and what do you do when your skirt flies up? Meghan and Kate are the next generation of royal sisters-in-law, following in the footsteps of Diana and Sarah Ferguson. Diana was this sensation Hello. that everybody was obsessed with. And Sarah Ferguson, it's always harder to be slightly in the shadows, to be marrying the second in line to the throne, because there's no defined role for her. And one hopes, in the way that Diana did so well in finding causes that meant something to her. And if Meghan is able to do that, I think she'll have a much easier ride than Sarah Ferguson did. Many see Meghan as a much needed dose of modernity. But I think most people will look at the royal family and think, most people don't live like that in the UK. I certainly don't have a butler. And there's a story that's been going around that she's been hugging security guards and they're like, why are you, why are you hugging me? And she's going, I'm American, I'm, I hug. I'm a hugger. And there's something wonderfully endearing about that. Meghan has joined the family where it seems terribly excited to see a new arrival, particularly with the freshness that an American brings to the somewhat stiff approach that the British are accused of having. And I think, you know, she'll refresh that. As the preparations continue at Windsor Castle, Harry and Meghan hoping the tabloid fodder is finally behind them, embracing the mantra, love conquers all. For Nightline, I'm James Longman at Windsor Castle. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.